says it's going to be a beautiful 4th of July weekend here in the Tri-State, and that means boaters are going to be out on the water. Yeah, but the recent death of UC soccer player, of a UC soccer player rather, brought to light a relatively hidden danger in boating, carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. David Winter is at Caesar Creek Lake in Warren yeah. County, and David, I have to admit, you rarely hear anybody talking about this. Yeah, not too often, but it is happening more often than we would certainly like. There were just three people who died over the weekend up on Lake Erie, two men and a boy. And then, of course, you just mentioned Ali Sidlowski, the 21-year-old soccer player from UC. She died out at Harsha Lake last month. I have to admit, I've been boating my entire life. I used to teach water skiing, and I had no idea about the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning when you are near a swim board of a boat. And I'm not alone. We bumped into a family today at Caesar Creek Lake who until recently were unaware of the dangers. It's an open bow vessel, so I figured that, you know, even a light breeze 10 mile an hour like today, it would just blow away. But when Ken Colbreth bought his boat, there were stickers all over it warning of the dangers of carbon monoxide. The past owner also warned him. Whether you're on the boat or even behind the boat, those gases can get to you. 911, where is your emergency? Hi, we're on East Fork Lake. Uh, a girl jumped in. They got Ali Sidlowski last month. She was hanging on to the swim board with the boat idling before she went under and drowned. A coroner's report shows carbon monoxide poisoning. People let their boats idle, uh, swim near the exhaust area. Um, a lot of these boats that have swim decks uh, the exhaust is vented underneath the swim deck. ODNR's Garrett Heasley says he has to remind people every year to turn off their engines while they are near their boats, and he has to stop people from teak surfing, where people hang on to the swim board and get dragged through the water. Luckily, he says, most poisonings just ruin people's days. They mistake it for seasickness or too much alcohol or sun. There's no doubt that, that people are affected by it, you know, all the time, that they don't even realize it. A federal study out of Cincinnati lists several carbon monoxide boating deaths, including an 18-year-old who died while teak surfing for just two minutes, another who was sitting near the rear of a boat while it was going 10 miles per hour for 45 minutes, and there was a 9-year-old girl swimming near the exhaust. And of course, there was Ali Sidlowski, whose death may have saved countless others. I just told my girls yesterday when they were sitting on the back of the boat, watch out for carbon monoxide, that's how that soccer player unfortunately died. Well, keep in mind, there are a lot of older boats that don't have the stickers like what you're looking at right now that warn people about carbon monoxide poisoning near the swim boards. Hopefully, stories like this one will inform people and we can avoid more of these senseless deaths in the future. Reporting from Warren County, David Winter, back to you. David, thank you. What a timely warning going into this weekend. Now, in the study David referenced in his story, nearly three quarters of the carbon monoxide poisonings on powerboats, they occurred while on or near the swim platform at the rear of the boat.